Welcome back, everyone. A look at Jensen Beach right now. Lots of sunshine there and a heat advisory in effect to the south of Jensen Beach down in Palm Beach County right now until 6 p.m. And then after that, we may see another heat advisory issued for tomorrow. Maybe not just for Palm Beach County, but for the entire area as a little more humidity moves in across South Florida. For now, temperatures are about the same everywhere you go. We're in the low 90s, but there's a little more moisture to the south, so those heat index temperatures have gone up a little bit the farther south that you go, which is why Palm Beach County is under a heat advisory right now. 101 degrees the way it feels in Sebastian, feels like 102 in Okeechobee, 101 Fort Pierce, feels like 103 in Palm City. Check out this, you get down to Palm Beach Gardens, feels like 104, feels like 106 in West Palm Beach right now, feeling like 102 in Bell Glade. And we've been going back and forth between about 104 and 106 from Delray Beach down to Highland Beach. Here's a quick look at what's happening on the radar. We don't have much rainfall around right now. Broward County has a few showers and storms. We are starting to see a few showers move in to southeastern Palm Beach County right here in Boca, right around South Ocean Boulevard. They're heading in toward Dixie Highway and then kind of fizzling out. But as we get to the afternoon hours, there's a slightly higher chance for a few strong thunderstorms in the mix, thanks to all the daytime heating we have around. The chance for rain is lower than average right now at about 30% but there's still that 30% chance for a few strong storms. That chance does go up by Thursday because of this. An area of low pressure just off the coast of Georgia starts to move southeast, dragging with it a weak front that's not going to bring cooler temperatures in, but it is going to stir up the atmosphere enough to give us more rainfall coverage for Thursday, which is why we get that 50% chance for rain, all that moisture surging up toward the front. Then on Friday, a lot of that moisture starts to sink down to the south as dry Higher air moves in just in time for the weekend. Let's go to Tropical Storm Ernesto. Winds at 50 miles per hour right now. It's going to try to start that move to the north. High pressure will slowly start to slide over to the east, making way for Ernesto to head up to the north toward Bermuda by the time we get to mid to late week. So here's the latest track from the Hurricane Center. It's moving west-northwest at 18. Expected to get close to hurricane strength as it gets near the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico. Category 1 hurricane after that. Then a Category 2 heading north toward Bermuda. Bermuda, and some computer models have it at a Category 3 getting closer to Bermuda. We'll have to see if it continues to strengthen, if the models change a little bit. So we've got chances for rain continuing this afternoon. Heat advisory in effect, 30% chance for rain tomorrow, and Thursday higher chances for rain. Then on Friday, rain chances start to decrease with a drier weekend on the way. Rain chances down to 20%. That's a look at your forecast.